Hello everybody, it's Inspired Joe Min, and today I'm going to be doing a cosplay tutorial or anime costume tutorial on a anime nerd. So please stay tuned to watch how I did this actual outfit. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe for videos like these coming up. Using a lot of cross-reference from anime, these are what I became with my result with my layout. This is how I chose to make my design, choose it however way you choose. Once you have a layout, definitely go to the store and get your materials together, which I actually have written out right over here. By the way, please take your time reading all of the information on this material list so that you can get everything you need collectively. Once I have restored all of my materials together, I'm going to actually go ahead and use two patterns. I'm using a t-shirt that's most comfortable to me and a pencil skirt that is actually a very good sizing. You always want to do this so you don't have your material becoming too small later on in the process. To begin this process, I actually simply laid out my shirt on the fold of the fabric so that both sides are equivalent to each other, which is a very easier way if you don't want to worry about Oh, the fitting not being correct. So try to proceed this way for the front and the back because the zipper will be in the front of the actual dress. Once you've done the center front and the center back of the top of the dress on the fold, which gives you more wiggle room later on for alternations, you're going to go ahead and proceed in doing the same similar method to the pencil skirt making the bottom. Now that the selected patterns are actually completed and cut out, you're going to actually take your sewing pins and proceed on to put it together so that it equals one dress. And by doing this, you're going to take the top of your dress, which was cut out from the shirt, and the bottom of the dress, which is the pencil skirt, together. And then once you've had it pinned together, you can go ahead and sew to make it one dress and then work on the next step, which is your alterations. So alterations are my biggest thing when it comes to cosplay making or making an outfit. So in this actual tutorial, I have to fix the waist and the back area to make it more form-fitting, but still more sleek and chic to my character. At that point, when you reach a certain determination of feeling you've got the alteration down, now you just have to go in and add a zipper. And don't be afraid to cut down the area where you feel it's going to be most comfortable to lay the zipper, because that's going to best fit on your body type for this outfit. Once your basis of the dress is complete, you're going to move on to your collar and sleeves. Once I trace out a sleeve pattern, I'm going to go ahead and proceed in cutting out that pattern to attach it to my dress. The same method you would use to attach a sleeve to a t-shirt or a sleeve to a dress better break this down, what I'm saying is attach your sleeve onto the shirt once you finish cutting it out. Then once you finish attaching the sleeve to the actual dress or shirt using your pins, go ahead and proceed in sewing. To get started, we're now going to be working on the collar and the length and width of it including as well. When making the collar, I used my measuring tape and made the length of the collar all the way around 22 inches and I made the width going to be 3 to 3.5 inches wide to make sure it's not too thin and not too thick. To make the collar, you take your fabric that you just cut out and measured and then pin it to the actual dress and neckline. Once you pin it down, you can fold over the fold and sew this down with your sewing machine and you will have a finished completed neckline. For the last part of this step, you're going to go ahead and insert your zipper. You can use a really long zipper or use two zipper method like I did. Just make sure you're precise and go ahead and pin it down and sew it and you should move on to your next step which is final improvement. Now these final improvements should be coming up to the same way you had your layout of your actual dress or the way your layout of the nurse costume should come out. This is what I looked at for the most part, which I do need to do tiny bit alterations, but other than that it came out as a 90% in the clear. And then from here we're going to add detailing, which is the next step.
What I mean by detailing at this point, it really concludes to having those buttons that are added on to add that sense of nurse flair, and also detailing like making a fake badge, adding trim, or any kind of flair to it. It's your choice, but this is how I do my costume, to be honest. To finally finish up the dress, you're going to have a waistband be the same color or a different one to go around the area to cover up the ending and starting of the zippers. And then from there, you're going to start working on your nurse cap. Now, I'm making this nurse cap. You can use the same method, but use it as all fabric or use it the cardboard way like I do, but please pay attention. To get started, I simply used a bowl in my kitchen to make the circle outline for the base of the cap. And then I'm going to use a 1 inch to 2 inch thickness of the width of the strips that go all around it. And put it all together once I have it glued down on fabric to have the covering for the outside done. You can add an extra layer of fabric onto it so it's not so transparent with the glue on the fabric on the cardboard. Once you finish actually covering it with fabric with glue, you're going to go ahead and make it all glued together using my fabric glue, which is actually stronger than the hot glue that I bought at Walmart, so take note of that. Notice how I'm only using the edges to glue this down with the fabric glue and then pressing it down and holding it for about 5 to 10 minutes so it can seal in. And you can do this over and over to make sure the consistency of the glue is actually holding the bonds of the fabric and cardboard together. You're going to proceed using this very same method for the bill of the nurse cap as well. But once you have that completed, this is how the final look should actually come together. Once you have the basis of your dress and your actual nurse cap done, you can add detailing like I am right here, which I'm just adding a pink trim, and also I'm adding some buttons to make it cuter. Outfit's basically complete, so there you have it. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do apologize about the lighting and the correction colors it just was kind of off today but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more videos like this and thanks so much for watching don't forget to spread peace love and happiness and it's only up to you to make everyday beautiful thanks